Welcome back to the Michigan State Wells. Today we're going to be taking a look at the southern end of the old New York Central trackage on the old Detroit line. The line that would still be standing here started around Toledo, Ohio to Detroit, Michigan. We would not do bottom to top of the Detroit line today. This video is basically dedicated to the southern of the Detroit line. So now we're here taking a look at this coal train that came from the DTE docks where they unload coal trains at. This is one of them. They have BNSF coal hoppers. So I don't know if this was ending up being a one of those BNSF coal trains that had like NS power. I don't really know. They could end up having it for more power. But sometimes I notice sometimes I see this coal train that they would go to like like North Carolina somewhere around there. Or Shire Oak, Pennsylvania. So this is where he's probably going to go for his final destination. But this is just the beginning of this Detroit line series that I decided of doing. This is going to be part one. We're going to be doing a part two in 2024. NS 31M from Sterling Heights to Heyman, Indiana. What is leading to today, 31M, is a Dash 9 and then an SD70 Ace 1216 is trailing second. That will be a short clip of 31M because I would go back home. And now we're on the second season, Spring. Almost to summer though, which I really want. This is NS332 from Bellevue, Ohio to Detroit, Michigan. Unless this is 358 from Elkhart to Detroit. I'm surprised that train doesn't like take the Detroit district and stuff. Oh well, at least we got a bunch of trains and stuff. Like 358 and stuff. This one, I don't know. I know this this train has a lot of steel coils on this one. The fact that it only had one engine on front. Well, there will be a surprise as a Ford visitor on a weird DPU. I would say it right now, but I'm going to keep it as a secret.
The Wheater DPU, if you could see. You guys think that was an ace? That was as a Wheater DPU? That is actually a UP Tier 4 SD70 ace that is being as a Wheater DPU on 358 or 332. Now we got an NS Colt train from the DTE dock where they unload the coal trains. So, one of them ending up coming from that power plant and then now heading back south towards Shire Oak, Pennsylvania with a Tier 4 GE ET44AH or AC leading the way of this empty coal train from Monroe, Michigan.
the reason why we decided to come over here is because this weather way right here, we would get a reflection of the trains that we would get this evening. And it would actually be a pretty good afternoon. So we saw, we're about to see two trains already. The empty coal train that we saw that was on the main two, which is the middle track. That coal train ended up like crossing over. And then this 332 or 334 ending up getting his signal and making his way north to Detroit, Michigan, Oakwood Yard before their crew end up calling out of one another time. I don't know if they would one at a time, but they were sitting there for like 30 to 40 minutes before before making his way north. We would actually get some really good shots of this northbound because we would get the reflection of the northbound and the river. The leader of today would have a Daz 9 leading the way. We would end up getting another train on the old Detroit line. After seeing a signal for a southbound, which is 331, from Detroit, Michigan, Oakwood Yard to Bellevue, Ohio. And the leader of today would end up being a Dash 9 leader and two SD40s up front. The only reason why I wanted to get this shot is because. There's old telephone poles, like, by the tracks, so I decided just to get this shot, not the weather shot, whatever I got of that northbound. 331 would end up getting a clear flu 
LaSalle control point. It will be some time after that 331 would clear, we would get another northbound, but for some reason he ain't going to be on the center track, he is crossing over to the first track, which is the far left track that was had the 331 on, he decided just to cross over there, because why not, I was thinking of chasing it, but there was no point. This is NS11N from somewhere out in New Jersey all the way to Sterling Heights, Michigan as a Dash 9 leader and the Illinois Turnimal Heritage Locomotive 1072 is trailing tonight's 11N bound for Sterling Heights, Michigan.
Good thanks to that crew. Man, he gave me a heck of a horn show. That is B-23 from the road to Toledo area. And now we're here in my uncle's backyard. And we decided to get this shot because we would get a southbound on the Detroit line. 333 from Detroit to Bellevue. At this point, they would abolish 331 and 332, so now it's 333 and 334 on the Detroit line. They would be pushed, 331 and 332 would be pushed on the Toledo branch in September. But they would not run through here in Michigan anymore. 333 has a UPSD-70M trailing second. Now it's the next day, 4th of July, and we decided this to come out because we would hear about a special heritage locomotive being 12 on a 333 bound for Bellevue, Ohio. We decided just to come out here back in my uncle's backyard and get the shot that I've been wanting to get in, in the summertime. This would end up being one of the good shots that I have ever gotten in the summertime. 11N would make his way north after working Mega Yard and now with a solo AC44C6M they would make it north towards Stirring Heights, Michigan today. Okay, you know that 333 that I was talking about earlier? Well, it's finally here. After waiting for like 30 minutes, it was burning hot. So I did not want it to stay out long. Otherwise, I would hang out with some other friends of mine and like to watch the fireworks. I will explain the power in a few seconds. Alrighty, the power of today, 333, would end up having a UP Jibo leading the way, and then NS SD78, 1068, the Eater Heritage Unit, and then another NS SD78, 12 and 3rd, and then an NS DC Jibo, 4 and 4. That is the concept of today. I got really good today. 
I'll show you above, or I'll link it to my Flickr account. But let's get the west of 333. Alrighty, the train that we are looking at is NS-10N from Oakwood Yard, Detroit, Michigan to Bellevue, Ohio. And it's sometimes a manifest, sometimes it's an ROWAC train. It's a mixture of both, but it's another manifest from Oakwood Yard to Bellevue, Ohio, whatever. However, today, the reason why we are out for this one is because NS8114, the original NS Heritage Locomotive, ended up being a big DPU. But, for some reason, my father decided to put the drone on top of a car, our car, and then now we lost it, so we had it, like, leave as soon as the DPU passed. He didn't know the original was a DPU anyway. And then I just like, I was like recording and then I saw the made DPU. That's when I saw the original NS. Alrighty, we're back here at Cusino once again. This is August still summer, and we would get a all-leg train, probably from Chicago, to Stirring Heights, probably 13J or something like that, either that, it's 11N, to Stirring Heights, Michigan, with a BNSF Giro solo leading the way today, at least we got some four power leading the way. But I would be my good friend Caleb. We have not met since the first time I went to Huron and Vermilion area. And we decided to meet there. 
at night, but we didn't really catch anything at that time. And it's been since. Good to see you, buddy. Hope to see you next time. This would ending up being the last train of I got all I got. And the leader of today would be NS333 from Oakwood to Detroit, Michigan. NS4000 ACDC Blue Main Conversion Unit solo leading heading for Bellevue, Ohio after sitting there here at Benor Road for hours. They would get a fresh crew and then get to leave from Bellevue, Ohio. There's the mid DPU is a Uni Pacific Gmo, which that was a surprise. I thought it would be an NS that would be a mid DPU, but well, the UP, I guess that I'll take that. But thank you for watching. See y'all next time.